All right, you guys, so welcome back to the channel. It's day four of fixing this crash damage Jeep Grand Cherokee. So let's go over all the stuff so far. So, so far, as you can see, we tore majority of the front end off. We got the bolts that was snapped into the motor out and we start replacing the radiator and everything like that. The last episode, we made headway. We got the dashboard out, as you can see right there. And we also had a failed attempt of pulling the core support out a little bit with the ratchet straps but we were able to go ahead and get it done the other way so now in today's video we're about to go ahead and finish up the process i think the first thing we're going to do is actually take the windshield out because it is cracked it is bad so we got to go ahead and take that out so that way tomorrow maybe we can go to the yard and try to find another one to replace it so it'll just be easier to take this windshield out while we got the dashboard out because obviously we need to get in the inside and kind of get in the grooves where you know the glue and the wind the windshield is on the body of the car so let's go ahead and do that now and then we could continue to put the dashboard in x y and z also we did do some plastic weld on the headlights here and it's actually very strong we did it on both and this little piece here so that's that's all good to go it's super secure so we good on that now saved us a headlight now we pretty much did the same thing on the honda crv uh rebuild if you haven't seen that go and watch that but we pretty much did the same thing as far as with the windshield so pretty much what we have to do is take this panel up here take the uh the arms off and we might have to take the hood off but probably not so that way we can lift this bad baby up so basically here we're taking off each bolt that's holding on the windshield wiper arms once we get that done we can actually take a pry bar and pry up the arms itself sometimes you have to do it sometimes you don't it just really depends on the car but on this car we have to do it most definitely once we get that done we can just remove the arms from the car set them to the side now we can actually pull up that panel that whole panel right there we have to lift that up so we can get access now the first step to this job you need some soapy water so i just filled this bottle up with some water make sure you got a spray nozzle like that right so then you just go ahead and hit the corners with some spray so that way you can kind of loosen up the glue and then you can just easily cut through it so we finna attempt to actually cut through like some adhesive some glue to actually take apart the windshield from the actual vehicle we need to lubricate this thing a lot so basically just go ahead and grab your soapy water and go ahead and just go crazy just spray it everywhere you know you can be generous with the amount just spray it make sure you get it wet don't do it too much because of course electrical connections is exposed but just wet it up real good once you get that done you can actually go ahead and use this tool here which is a multi-purpose tool it's kind of one of the best tools to use to um remove windshields so go ahead and do that basically you just slip it up under the windshield between the windshield and the body so basically right in the middle with the glue or at the top or at the bottom of the glue this is like a sharp blade at the end and it just cuts right through so that's exactly what we need to do we need to do underneath the windshield we need to do on the side make sure you hit the corners the corners are the hardest parts but just make sure you take your time and get up in there because that's the part that's usually stuck on the car the, the hardest right or the tightest or whatever get you the most problems so make sure you do that make sure you do the top and on both sides as well and then once you get done with that and you feel like it's pretty much good to go always give it a test and on the test you can see you can push it out a little bit and that might be a sign that it's good to go so right now it's good to go for me so now we're just picking it up here and carrying it make sure you be careful take your time you don't want to cut yourself you see how it's cracked up and just have somewhere that you can set it down in a safe spot to where you know you're not just getting glass everywhere and you don't have to move it again all right you guys so we finally got the windshield out it wasn't really that bad but i did have to break the corners but nonetheless we got it out and i put it in a box so we could throw it away because i'm not trying to get glass everywhere so let me show you what i was talking about the corners so here we go right here this one right there this one right here it really doesn't matter obviously because it's trash but i most definitely got to take these off to put it on a new one as well because that goes to a review mirror and it got like a rain sensor sensor and everything on there so i gotta take this off to put that back on but 
the reason I had to do that as far as with the corners is because basically I couldn't get my tool in there and these corners here. So um, without actually damaging this, you know, the fender. So actually I got a little scratch right there, but that's not too bad. But yeah, so I just gotta, you know, of course take all this glue off. This is exactly what we was cutting. This piece here actually stays, you know what I'm saying? But this piece, all this gotta come out. It's up there. If the metal exposed, we gonna have to paint it and let it dry before, but this is what it looks like with no windshield, no dashboard, no, pretty much no interior. If you haven't seen it. So now it's time to put the dashboard back in. But before we do that, we actually need to make sure all the harnesses is good. So as you can see, this right here is the, ar is the harness that goes to the uh, airbag right here. Now on the old one, which is over here, you see the connectors are still connected to the airbag because sometimes when the airbag deploy, it melt the connectors just like it did on this one. So usually you got to splice in some new ones. So luckily I had the new ones. So now we just got to splice them in. So here's the new ones right here. They come off of this airbag right here. So basically we just got to take those and splice it into here. And it's going to sit just like that. And then it's just going to plug into there. So we're going to do that before we attach the dashboard, just because it'll be easier with more room. So you want to take your new connector and your wire cutters, and you just want to strip the installation from the wire on all the wires, pretty much. And then you also want to go ahead and take your gauges. Make sure you have the right size gauge for the wire. Sit it over the wire and just crimp it down in place with your wire cutters. Make sure you have a tight seal connection and you have to do that for each wire you want to so if you have two wires you do it for two and then you just pair it up to the other two take a lighter and just burn it melt it and you're good to go but you guys so basically when you're done doing that it's going to look like this here now we're moving on to actually installing the dashboard so basically here we're just picking it up and setting it right in place make sure you be careful because you don't want to scratch it up you don't want to damage it while you're putting it in but also make sure you have all the wires on the back side of the dashboard kind of pulled out so that way it can sit flush. So you will see it once you actually do a job like this. So once you get done with that, you just want to go ahead and just start zipping all your bolts down. Make sure you have all your bolts in place. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Then take your gun and just start bolting everything down in place so that way it can be held in and secure. But make sure you most definitely connect the ducking system on the back side of the dashboard before you do this part here, which is just securing the dashboard to the car. Make sure you check your connectors and your ducking system before you do that. Well, here I'm putting up the steering wheel. Basically, I'm just lifting it up in place. And then you have the four bolts that's holding it on the mounting bolts and you just zip them in place. Always set yourself up for success and prepare your gun. I didn't prepare my gun for this one, so I got everything in place, but it pretty much fell back down on me because the gun wasn't in reach and I didn't even have the right tool on there. So on the second attempt, I actually got it right. I just set it up in place, put the bolt onto the gun itself and just, you know, zipped it right in. So all four, just zip them right in. And now the steering wheel can pretty much support itself. All right, you guys, so my camera was tripping for a second, but I got it back going. So pretty much got the dashboard in. Y'all seen some of the progress, uh, some of the steps is really not too difficult, but I got it down. Let me show you what it looked like. So as of right now, this is what the interior looks like. Got the dashboard put in, got the infotainment system put up, got the steering wheel and everything put up. I also got the trim piece up there put in. So it looks pretty good. Last thing I have to do is just go ahead and put the um, center console in and pretty much that's it. Of course, put the seats back in, which is over there, but I'm gonna clean this up real good first before I put the seats back in. So pretty much I'm gonna put that in there and then make sure I put all the other panels on and the interior should be all set. But y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of the new dashboard. So with that being said, let's continue to fix this interior real quick so we can head out. So we're going to take the center console and sit in place. We most definitely want to make sure, you know, everything is in order. Make sure all the connections at the bottom is already connected and just make sure we put it in the exact place that it's supposed to go. 
So we gotta slide it up under there. Sometimes you just gotta wiggle it around, but it'll drop in place. Once it's in place, make sure you got the connectors on the side connected. Make sure you set them in the right mounting place. And then make sure you do that on the left side and the right side. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and bolt everything down. Usually it's about four bolts, one in the front, one in the back. And then after that, shake it, give it a test. If it's secure, you're good to go. All right, you guys, so now we got the center console all the way complete. And now we need to take out the dashboard, swap that out real quick. And then the interior will be pretty much 90% complete because I'm leaving the seats out because I most definitely want to vacuum. And I still got to swap out one seat belt. And to be honest, I think it'll be a little bit easier with it out because I still have to put the windshield in. So I'm going to leave the seats out, but everything else is going to be good to go. Okay, so this is basically what the interior looks like right now. And now we have to take the airbag out. So basically you're gonna get your 10 millimeter and it's actually on the side here. And you're just gonna bag it out real quick. There you go right there, the black one. And then we go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so once you got that done, just pull it out just like that. And then look at the connectors. And these connectors almost look like they're okay. Now they melted just a little bit, so most definitely got to disconnect this one. So it does look like the connectors are actually burnt. See that right there? So with that being said, we do have to cut them. Just like we did the other airbag over there. I'm gonna have to do the same thing on this one. So I'm gonna leave as much wire as possible. So if I can get in there, I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit higher than that, to be honest with you, like right there. That's one. That's two. So now we got to splice the new airbag on. This right here is the old one. Just to give you a better look, you see how the connectors are kind of burned in place. That's what happens pretty much because once this thing explodes, this gets very hot. And of course it melts the connectors. So give you a better look. Okay, so with that being said, you guys, come on bro. Fucking light. All right, so with that being said, this is the end of the video. We wrapping it up right here. We got a lot done. We got the windshield out. We got the new dashboard in, and we're pretty much done with the interior. Only thing we have to do left is small stuff, and we need to go on a hunt to find a windshield. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned so we can continue this build on this Jeep Grand Cherokee. Make sure y'all leave it, uh, leave y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the new dashboard and the little um, brown color trim piece. Let me know what you think, and I'm going to see you next video.